Yo, what's going on, E7 fam? Pat here, back with another video. And this one is going to be talking about the current hero limit in Epic 7. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you come over here to your hero inventory, you'll see in the top right hand corner of your screen that there is a, uh, for me, it says 291 slash 300. So I currently have 291 characters in my roster. 300 is the maximum roster size. And if you click this plus button, you'll see your hero inventory size has reached its maximum limit. I cannot expand this in any meaningful way. Something similar is done here with your equipments. Here I have 500 as the max, and if I click this, I cannot actually increase the maximum. These have been the limits for quite some time. It was increased to this, I would want to say, around the time Hunt 13s first came out, and that's kind of how it's been. And since we've gotten to the point where we need more storage for some players, they gave us eventually a, uh, a waiting room here for heroes, right? And they also gave us a waiting room here for equipment. So the reason why I want to talk about the 300 hero cap is if you go over here to journal and you go to hero journal, you'll see that there are 327 characters currently in epic seven which is obviously larger than 300 but if that's the case you probably would have heard something about this sooner but if you go to category here and you scroll down and see specialty change there are 27 specialty changes currently in epic seven you cannot play a specialty change and normal version of a character at the same time so you cannot play clurry and falcon or clurry in the same team you cannot play Roz and adventure Roz in the same team Thus, these are duplicate entries. So 327 minus 27, basic math, 300 unique playable characters in Epic 7, which is exactly how many characters you can hold. So in the case of content creators like Tristan Wolf, as well as Lucent Azure, both of these have brought up this actual fact. Tristan on his streams, Lucent on damn near every single video on his channel, begging Smilegate to do something because with the next new release, somebody like Tristan or Lucent, who has every character in the game, can no longer field every single character in the game if they so choose. This is obviously detrimental to Tristan because he is a guide maker that wants to explore using every single character for PvE. He will not be able to do so starting with the next character. Instead, somebody is going to be relegated here to the waiting room. And in the case of Lucent, He's basically like a power gamer that wants to have every single character in the game, have all of them at level 60, fully awoken, fully skilled, and also he's got everybody, I, I believe, at friendship level 10. His goal is to basically, quote unquote, complete the Pokedex, literally do everything there is to do with all the characters in the game, and the way that the game engine is currently set up, well, it doesn't really allow him to do so. So since this has only been really discussed on like Reddit in like one post, uh, Tristan on like a handful of streams and then Lucent on his videos, I figured, you know what, I'm going to throw my name into the hat here and hopefully try to raise some community awareness on this issue. Well, I say issue because some of you probably are thinking, wait, this isn't really an, an issue for me, at least like I'm nowhere near the hero cap, right? But if you consider that eventually if nothing's done about this you will hit the hero cap yeah hopefully you can kind of see where i'm going with this so now you might be thinking why don't they just increase the hero size right that's what we're trying to find out because it was explained correct me if i'm wrong for those of you who've been playing for a while if you remember your memory is better than mine but we got these waiting rooms because apparently 300 is the limitation of the Yuna engine. Apparently, the way that this game works is when you load into the game, right? When you turn it on, it loads all the characters in your hero menu, right? Right away. And that's why there's no load times in Epic 7. It's because everything is loaded into memory, like, right away. That's why your inventory, you can press it on any screen, and it just pops right up. Because it loads all 500 pieces here into memory no load screens it's, uh, screens, it's very seamless, and a lot of people really like that. But apparently, I guess, that's the most that you can do with the engine. I don't know if it was because of how powerful mobile phones were a couple years back when we got Hunt 13, and they first made this announcement, 
or when the game was developed back in like what 2016 2017 I, I don't i just don't know but uh we're in 2024 now and the game kind of i feel like needs to have a larger hero inventory than 300 it needs to increase and if we get an inventory increase that would be great too because again if you take a look at some of like the whaliest players in the game right i almost have the 500 equipment limit and i'm not really like a big spender at all if you go here into the actual waiting room i have about half my waiting room full of gear that i have either no charms to roll or i just might want to hold it for a rainy day for some later use there are people who spend way more than me they definitely have their inventory filled uh it's definitely hitting this 500 out of 500 and uh the waiting room like we just showed you here uh it can't be increased past 700 so somebody out there probably has that actually filled so for the only the only other way for those kinds of players to store gear would be for them to come and pick like i don't know let's just pick a three star right like nemunas right here just jam gear onto nemunas that they want to keep that's unused because as you you see here right i have 465 pieces of gear if i was to come in here and just jam like this piece onto her 464 it decreases my inventory size so people are basically using characters as pack rats to hold other pieces of uh equipment and obviously the characters in your winner can't hold equipment so you start to see the problem hopefully that i'm getting at in a roundabout way here we will eventually hit a point where you cannot hold characters and you will not be able to hold enough equipment there is a finite ceiling and for the power gamers amongst us the the whaliest amongst us they are already at that ceiling and it needs to be addressed because eventually it will come for the common man so now we've identified the problem and what i want to see is will smilegate do something about it if they do something about it and this video was of some help in accomplishing that like thumbs up right that's the whole point we're trying to bring some attention to a issue for a very small group of people now that might be a bigger issue later on and if they don't respond to it then that also sends a pretty alarming signal i feel like as well because if no fix is done then that means that for content creators like tristan or lucent does that mean that their problems don't matter in the grand scheme of things because it's not the masses right it doesn't affect a, a huge chunk of people now so why bother that is not a good look if the reason we can't expand it is because of the unit engine like i talked about i feel like that should be something that should be reiterated and disclosed to the player base asap because i don't know about you guys but when characters like bride senya are going to cost like hundreds of dollars to whale for i want to know that the foundation of the game is strong i, I don't want to just like be investing crazy into a game where it has clear limits like constraints that we can't get past like there is going to eventually be a point where you are not going to be able to put more characters into your inventory that you're not going to be able to hold more equipment i want the peace and security of knowing that the things that i acquire on my account as long as the live service portion of this game is still going that those are secure right and if you're not willing to shore up that you know your computer your consumer base that sends a really weird message, I feel like, as well. And then there's the fact that if you're just not going to respond to it all, I got to want to, I kind of want to know why, right? Like, is it because we're lazy? Uh, it's because we don't have enough manpower in the office? Or are we just trying to ride Epic 7 out as long as possible and milk everybody as long as possible until Chaos Zero Nightmare? So, like, no matter what Smilegate does in this situation if they're not going to address it i think it's just a bad look so that's my thoughts and that's why i wanted to make the video to call attention to it but let me know down in the comments below how you guys feel about it as always enjoy the rest of your day rest of your week catch you in the next one later